Welcome back to Zero Three FM. Um, Kevin and I are here even earlier today, out of nowhere. It is, it's eight fifty. What the heck? So that's crazy. Um, but yeah, we're here. Uh, we're doing the virtual. We can, bro. We're never okay. Like actually, I know. But yo, I I, I gotta start with this. I I gotta admit. I gotta. I just gotta get it off my chest. I slept with socks on last night. Yeah, I had, dude. Are my you serious? I, I swear, I swear. My apartment was freezing cold. I was like, "Do you know what? I need these." So I slept with my socks on. They just put a bad taste in my mouth. But I'm not gonna lie. Like, why do people hate on it? It's not that bad. Your feet need to breathe. I don't know. I used to sleep with socks on when I was a kid, but then uh, my dad was like, "You have to let your feet breathe." <laughs> And then I never, I, I physically can, I can't even lay down with socks on, man. Let your feet breathe, bro. Yeah. No, I, I don't do it normally, but I did it last night. And it wasn't that bad, so. It was. It, yeah, it was. It sucked. I hated it. But, um, yeah, I also just wanted to talk about something. Um, actually, I'll leave it this later for the episode, but I do have, we talked about Steve Will Do It last episode. Oh, sorry, like, my camera's up here, but Kevin's down there, so it's gonna be, like, weird. We talked about Steve Will Do It last episode, and how he moved to Rumble, right? And I don't know how the numbers compare, but we both agreed that, like, going to Rumble is too difficult to watch his videos. (laughs) Which, like, it's not, but that's the thing, bro. That's why YouTube is gonna stay on top. YouTube, I've always said YouTube will be, like, the... In a couple of years, it'll be everything, because yeah. it already has. No one wants to go. You don't want to go to YouTube for one creator, Twitch for another creator, Kick for another streamer, and then Rumble for another YouTuber. It's yeah. way too difficult. So if you have everything on one platform, they're gonna do the best. Yeah, and and plus we we could also talk about this the TikTok ban, the Congress. Um, oh yeah. Like that whole thing. That's crazy. Like. That they're actually considering banning TikTok, um, they, they won't. But, but I understand why. Have you seen the videos about um, the actual? Uh, is it a hearing? I don't know what it is the exactly. Hearing, is. Yeah, sadly, I have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, about how they're asking all these like fucking stupid questions. <laughs> Does TikTok access the home internet connection? Okay. No, that's actually crazy. <laughs> like you, you got to be brain dead to ask a question like that. Sure they are. So no hate, no hate. But bro, th- you could you could tell the the TikTok. Um, <sighs> damn, you could you could tell the TikTok CEO. Uh, I don't even know his name, but you could tell he was like PR trained. Like he he actually he showed up. He knew his he knew his stuff. Yeah, but um, there's plenty of plenty of business around that. I don't know if it's actually gonna happen. There's also some pretty genuine um, stuff. That was like at uh, yeah asked during the hearing and everything like that, but like, who knows? It, and apparently, other countries already ban it. I did not know that. Really? Yeah, they said like. I'm gonna look it up. I forget. I forget what it was, but it was like UK. Maybe they said Ireland, but apparently TikTok is already banned in a lot of other places. Okay, France, the Netherlands, and Norway have joined a growing list of countries that have recently issued orders banning the use of TikTok and government issued devices. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So. Maybe it was just, just, well, there's the inf- misinformation coming into play. Because what I heard was like, it was like, oh yeah, these places have banned TikTok. And then that was it. <laughs> but yeah, the yeah. government government dev- devices definitely make sense. Because, well, do, do you understand the basis of it? I, I don't really know it that well, but. It's like data protection, isn't it? Yeah, or but. Apparently there was this uh, this law passed by the Chinese government a couple of years ago that basically said that their uh, intelligence um, operation team is allowed to go to these companies, Chinese-owned companies, and request data, and they have to give it to them and not tell any of the users about that they gave their data to the government. Oh. So that's, that's like one of the biggest concerns for... Um, Congress, which is honestly pretty valid, like, yeah, that is that should be a concern. Yeah. And by the way, TikTok is banned in India, uh-huh. and not only just TikTok, hundreds of Chinese-based apps, and games. I, um, you know, I'm actually kind of surprised by that. 
Apparently the Taliban banned TikTok in Afghanistan. What the fuck? <laughs> That's an interesting one. Yeah. So yeah, it, it is banned in some places. Interesting. But yeah, I mean, there was also like genuine concerns um, about like the content that it shows and the, like the algorithm and stuff like that. Because low-key, bro, TikTok alg algorithm's powerful as shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like everyone says this nowadays, but I swear to God, I was talking I was talking to my mom yesterday. It was actually about the flight for Playlist Live, which Kevin and I have booked, so get yeah, hyped. Not the flight, but we booked the hotel. Um, but the thing was, uh, I was talking about this flight, and she, and she was like, I was like, when's the best time to buy? And she was like, I don't really know. And I was like, okay, I'll check this app called Hopper that like it tells you when is the best time to buy the flight and i swear to god i end the phone call with her two minutes later i go on instagram and i'm scrolling sponsored hopper ad that's weird and i'm like what what was that i was like a sponsored hopper ad <laughs> but yeah a, a, a sponsored hopper ad popped up and i was like bro what like how it's listening it's always listening. my um where is I it? used to have an, I used to have an Alexa, in um like next to my desk, and I don't use it anymore because I play a lot of shooter video games, mm -hmm. and I used to, I remember there was one time where I forget what I was playing, but I said like oh I killed one of them or something like that, and I saw to the corner of my eye it lit up like like I was talking to him no when I said kill so I'm like nope fuck that not using this thing anymore I'm not about to get like reported or some shit like that so I, I also. I, I don't have a plug in. Dude, I also used to have one, but like, fuck that as well. Like, they be listening yeah, all the time. It's kind of, obviously there's the argument that like, what the hell does the government care about like, Kevin and Jake? Who yeah. Are just like sitting. Oh, three of them. But yeah, I, we don't have like that is like a big debate because it's like, oh, they have microchips and they're tracking us. Like, bro, they don't give a fuck where you're going. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of weird. Like, the whole point of an Alexa is to always listen because it has to listen for its wake up call. Yeah. So it's kind of it's a little weird. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit weird. And like, bro, one of the crazy things is like kids are growing up with Alexas now. So like, I've been seeing recently. Um, or well, I saw this one video. It was uh, this kid who had an Alexa in his room. He must have been no more than three or four years old. And he literally, at like 3 a.m., he like woke up and he, he was like, hey, Alexa, play whatever, like a song. And it started playing and he started oh, like I think, dancing. I think I saw that. And it was yeah, like blasting that. the music. But, bro, these kids are growing up with Alexa. Like, that's crazy. And they, they don't think anything's really wrong with it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I don't know. I think it definitely is. It could be <coughs> a concern, though. Like, I don't know. It's always yeah, listening. There's, there's points to both sides. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, like, well, nowadays, data, data's on top. Like, low-key data's starting to become more important than money. Oh, yeah. People don't realize that every single, or most of the websites that they go on, your information's gathered, then sold. Yeah. Like, there's whole companies, their whole purpose is selling your information to, example, promote ads and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why, like, anytime, bro, even, like, have you ever, um... Have you ever went on, like, a website on, like, Shopify, uh, a website that was run by Shopify, and you put in your contact, like, you add something to your cart, you put in your contact information just to see how much shipping costs, and then later that day, you'll get an email, be like, oh, don't leave blank in your cart. It's like, it's like, bro, it, you literally took my data just from wanting to look at, like, shipping costs. Like, what the fuck? So. It's a scary, scary world. Yeah, I th any any website where you're entering your email name, anything like that, it's it's taking your information. That's all it's doing. Like even when uh, we were setting up, um, like when I was buying the hotel for Playlist Live, it asks it asked for the guest names, the guest emails, the guest home it's address. Everyone's information. Like why do you need the guest home address? Sorry, I gave it to them. So social security numbers. <laughs> yeah. Right. Dude, soon, like, socials aren't even going to be, like, a thing. I, don't know. I saw one time, I have no idea how true this is. I'm just going to, that's public information. Mm -hmm. People's social security numbers. It's public? That's what, I saw that one time. I never looked into it. I'm just going to put that out there. That's all I ever, let me Google it now. 
Well, I mean, our social security. You mean like? Social security. Is there just like a database? A database? Do you say data or data? They're two different things for different meanings. What? Yeah. There's no an official term for data and there's an official term for data. One is like a singular piece and one is a group. Shut the fuck up. I'm not captain. <laughs> yes, you are. You're such a captain. No, I'm not. It's Once data. I'm if you say data, you're, you're just wrong. If you say data, you're just trying to sound special. That's that's all that is. No. Is there a Like, you think you're like... You think you're like quirky or something. Between data... Okay, do you know? And data. What? Uh, no, no, okay. I, I, the kids that... The kids that say data are the same kids who type in all lowercase. And that's coming from someone that types in all lowercase. <laughs> but... It's just because, like... Okay. Bro, I, tur I turned that setting off when I was, like, 11, and I just, like, don't care enough to put it back on. <laughs> well, this... Okay, so now it's saying this, but they're spelled the same, so I don't know which one is which. But data is an individual unit that contains raw materials which do not carry any specific meaning. I honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even read the whole definition, and it was not what I was looking for. So give me another minute. Nah, bro, they're the same. They have to be. No, they're not. Or else it would be like different. Dude, why is this? Why can't I just get an easy answer? Or else they'd be different uh, names, bro. I gotta make sure my head's in frame. Um, okay, I got a couple more good topics. This is so stupid. It's because you can't, can't you can't find anything, answer. bro. You can't find no, anything. No, I can't. It's like, is it pronounced data or data? And then it's like, what's the difference between data, <coughs> data and information? Blah, 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 blah. Well, because you're searching it up, it's gonna it's gonna be like it's pronounced D A T A. You're gonna be like, wait, what? D A Y T A, data, data, data. No, that would make somewhere that they bro. Made. That would make more sense as day because D A Y T A data. What? <laughs> nah, you're funny, bro. What did I do? No, you said you said D A Y T A data, but really, oh, and I was saying both of them. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> the internet is the dumbest fucking place on the planet, bro. It is, but at the same time, it's. Insane. I just want an answer. <clears throat> I know the lighting right now for my camera is so bad. It's okay. Um, I actually had another another story. So I was, um, well, I actually logged on to the O3FM TikTok to upload a clip, and uh, a video popped up. It was one of those voiceover, like stories. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Reddit things. Yeah, the Reddit things, and it was a guy just like. Uh, playing, it was a, it was a Minecraft parkour map, I forget which one it is. I think it was like the tower or something like that. If you know what I'm talking about. Not a clue. It's like a spiral parkour map, I don't know, I played a lot of Minecraft parkour back in the day. But, um, and bro, this story, it was seven minutes long. First off, it was, it was the quickest seven minutes of my life. Like, I was so intrigued, on the edge of my seat the whole time. Like, tr I was, I was bugging, I was tripping out. Because it was like such a good story. But bro. <laughs> These literal random Redditors are making these magnificent stories. Like, better than some movies, better than some fucking, like, books, like, fiction books. These stories are insane. Wait, was the story fiction or non-fiction? It was fiction. It, it was fake. Okay. But, like, the story was so fucking good. I, it was also, like, kind of, uh, like, you couldn't tell if it was fiction. It was about, it was kind of about this guy who went on the dark web, and he, like, saw stuff he wasn't supposed to see. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but yeah. Anyway, I've seen, the, I've watched like nine minute stories, on uh, like the Reddit parkour videos. I've seen. I saw one where, the guy, like he broke into houses with his friend, mm -hmm. and they broke into a house one time, and they went into like a a room, and they thought the house was empty, and there was like a little boy, laying in the bed, and his eyes were like glowing, and then the kid apparently went like crazy. It was, like, running off the walls and shit. And then the guy that was typing it, his friend got, like, stuck in the room. And the door was, like, slammed behind him. And he was, like, sitting there while his friend was, like, screaming or something like that. And then he just, it was crazy. And then I saw one, I think it was yesterday, of this guy who... I forget. 
He overheard his neighbor talking about their home security system. And then he Googled how to get into the security system because the guy was bragging about how like the devices in his house are connected. <laughs> so then he was like, he finally got in because he wanted, he was just curious. And there was like cameras and stuff like that. And he said like he saw like a, this is where the story gets fucking wild. There was like a thing in the basement that was like a blurry object that would go, it went, he like he watched it go up the stairs or he saw it for like <clears throat> like two nights just like wandering in the basement. Does my voice sound horrible right now? No, it sounds like, fine. Okay. And then it like, he said it would walk up the stairs and then kind of like back back down like he wasn't ready to go upstairs yet. And then the thing finally went upstairs and it like, he watched it like go, start to go upstairs <clears throat> But then, like, go back downstairs again, so it's on the main floor. It started shuffling through the mail, and then it went on... <clears throat> oh, my God. No, you, got over here. you got this. And then the thing went to, like, the guy's computer. And then when the next day he heard the neighbors talking about the kid couldn't find his college acceptance letter, and the father or whatever sent, like, an email that he didn't remember sending to his work that got him fired. So he watched it with, like, fucking the bad luck monster. Bro, what the... That's, like, um... There's a there's a subreddit called No Sleep. <coughs> and that's, like, these crazy stories. But, no. The, bro, these, these Reddit, like, writers that are writing these, like, crazy stories, they need to get fucking hired. Straight up. They're masters. They're ma- literature masters. No, they ac- they actually are. And it's, like... It's genuine, like... I feel like if I was a, a company that, like, wrote fiction novels, bro, I'd go to Reddit... And DM these people and be like, yo, let me get you on my team. Because they're, no, like, they're actually so good. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, <coughs> yeah. Um, do, do you have anything you want to talk about in specific? There is one, bro. I can't even fucking talk right now. Um, <coughs> bro, fuck. Can you, like, understand what I'm saying? Is my yeah. voice? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Um, would you, I know there's, like, this is very broad but like if you saw a commercial which I don't even think you watch that much TV Mm. would you buy a random product because the brand paid for a celebrity to promote the product um probably not okay because this is something I've always thought about like how many fucking ointment commercials have you seen that's like Shaq's promoting something (laughs) bruh Blood, no one's going to buy that because Shaq's promoting it. Yeah. I think it's, like, the biggest... Obviously, sometimes in certain instances it works. Yeah. I think generally it's fucking stupid. Yeah, well, it, it's... I think it's all about the credibility. So, if the... I first, like, I think the product has to be there. So, like, if it's, if it's a product, like, you actually want... Like, if it's, like, shoes or, like, a clothing brand, then, like... The demographic is more like probably like us, shit like that. Not like an ointment, you know what I mean? But then, because I just want to, I've seen countless Shaq ointment commercials. Actually, yeah, you have you haven't seen one like that? No. Where it's like the size of his fucking finger and he's holding it. No. Um. Uh, but yeah, I think like it depends though, because I've seen stuff on social media that I've been really close to buying and I just haven't. Um. Because were you closer to buy it? Like, did you feel more inclined to buy it because you knew someone was promoting it? No, I think it's more it has more to do with the the product itself. But if somebody that I know, or that's like a celebrity, is promoting it, then it, it gives that it gives that company just a little bit more credibility. The trust. Yeah. But realistically, no. Okay. That's why that's why I really like that we partnered with Manscaped. <laughs> like the product sells itself, low key. Oh, yeah. Shit's fire. Like, I don't know if we ever talked about this. We were both... We we already owned that shit before they reached out to us. It's so fire. Oh, yeah. So. That's cool. Yeah. And I had a couple other things. I can't remember a single one of them, so... It's okay, man. Spring has sprung, and our friends at Manscaped have the best tools for some spring cleaning. They've already helped you tidy up the nooks and crannies of your body's basement, but this year, Manscaped can help you get the perfect presentation on that beautiful face with the new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Make sure you look your best this spring by using code 03FM to get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. It's time to tame your mane with the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. The sun is peeking back out, which means you'll have to show your face in that daylight again. So use the kit to make sure your scruff looks award-winning, whether you got glorious beard flow or some smooth, 
sleek cheeks. The kit starts off with the Beard Hedger, a waterproof cordless trimmer with a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard. So no more messy drawers full of guards. It also comes with titanium coated T-blades that are tough on hair but smooth on your face, leading to a single stroke efficiency that brings satisfaction one stroke at a time. Not to mention the Beard Hedger Pro Kit also comes with three free gifts, a beard brush, comb and scissors to ensure your beard is ready to impress. Save 20% off and free shipping with code 03FM at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with code 03FM at manscaped.com. Focus on the face and use the Beard Edger Pro for the cleanest look in the game. Do you have some other stuff? Yeah, I do. Um, I'll leave the other one for last. Yo, so I've been seeing videos um, of like, and I feel like this is so crazy nowadays. You see videos of like soldiers like overseas and stuff like filming tiktoks and shit like do you know what i'm talking about oh yeah yeah it's i don't know it's just crazy to me it's a weird like because i remember when the war in ukraine first broke out it was like every fucking every other video was like battlefront footage of people fighting which i mean there's definitely videos on the internet of like war from like the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq and stuff like that, but nothing, yeah. like, more personal. Yeah. Than well, I, I just wanted to mention it because, like, it's literally a different perspective on war that we've ever seen. Like, it's insane. Yeah. It's, like, front, on, like, raw, I guess technically edited, but footage from the soldiers on the front line. Yeah, it's just, like, and, bro, that, like, that's the type of shit that's going to be in history books, like, 50 yeah, years yeah. from now. Well, we could say the same about, like, COVID, bro. Like that. We're living in a chapter of a textbook. We actually are. Oh, 3FM's going to be in it, too. Right next to John Pork. <laughs> what? You know who John Pork is? No. Bro. <laughs> look him up. Do you have a device you can look him up on? I can. You want to tell Pork. me who it is? Yo, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Yo, I thought, I thought that was going to be... I thought John Pork was, like, the name of, like... A, a general during a war or something. I thought it's like he is. What? Yeah, this guy's a general. Shut the fuck up, right? <laughs> You're tripping me the hell out. You don't know who this is? No. He's taken over his fucking social media. Apparently he's dead though. What? Like authorities found him floating in the river. There's two different um causes of death. One, authorities found his body floating in the river, and another one, there was a self-inflicted gunshot wound in his apartment. Bro, I'm, like, out of the loop on this one. You're tripping me the fuck out. Like, I'm so lost. <laughs> Wait, go, did you, do you still have the John Pork page looked up, like, pulled up? No, I'll pull it up. Yeah, you actually have me so lost right now. I have Do you see up. the one that he looks like Elton John? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. With the, the circle glasses and the button-down shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't Bro, know who he is? What the f No, I've never heard of that. Damn. Dude, see, this is the thing... <coughs> this is the thing about social media nowadays, is that you can, like... You can be so big and just no one will know about you, still. That's sad. Because everyone's on social media. Yeah, it's it's absolutely mad. Joe, I saw Joe Rogan a couple of them talking about this. Like, he was at dinner, and there was, like, a girl with, like, a couple million TikTok followers. And he said that the people that were running and owning the restaurant treated the girl like she was Princess Diana. It was crazy. Really? Oh, yeah, you've seen, like, uh, creators be, like, entitled. Like, they, they expect to get, like, the best seats at a restaurant or, you know... Like yeah. the best service, shit like that. Mm -hmm. Would you be like that? But, no. But, I can, ab absolutely not. That's so embarrassing. But I also, like, I could, get me a Coca-Cola. I actually thought of a bit where I was like, I snap, and someone brings me coffee. While we're filming, but who the hell would bring me coffee? <laughs> um, I can understand why. This actually kind of goes to what we were just talking about. Like, I can understand why a brand might want to, like, prioritize someone like that, because obviously it benefits them. Yeah. Because people never understand why, like, rich celebrities get given stuff. Mm hmm Because it's, it's, like, a mutual benefit. Like, if yeah. you get fucking Kim Kardashian, 
a phone. She doesn't need it, but you'll get a million eyes looking at it. Yeah. Well, that's why so many uh, brands send out, like, care packages to influencers. And then these influencers end up, like, reviewing it slash, like, unboxing it. Mm-hmm. And it's just, like, insane. Hold on. It's just, like, social media now is probably, I'd say, yeah, it's the best marketing tool versus, like, anything oh, for else. for sure. It's the best news outlet, marketing tool. I'd say even, like, beyond, like, Google ads and stuff like that, it's, like, the, the best. Yeah, if you have a video go viral on TikTok, it's 10 million views. The amount of people that reaches is, it's ridiculous compared to an ad. How many people are going to see an ad? I'm sure if you get a really good performing ad and a really good performing TikTok, the TikTok's going to outperform it by far. Yeah. Yeah, I just saw a, uh, what's, it's not Ice Spice, it's the other, like, that other singer. It's like Pink, Pink Panthers, is that? Something like that. I don't know if you pronounce it like that. I know who you're talking about. But, but she had, she had an ad on, uh, TikTok for, uh, Bose, like Bose headphones. And bro, I think it had 93 million views, but it was, it was also promoted, like, okay. like, so they're paying money to promote it. Yeah, so to get more views. But we should do that. When views are dead, just start promoting videos. Yeah, that's a great idea. I remember I, put, I promoted an Instagram photo one time, because I didn't really know what it meant, mm-hmm. and I paid like 99 cents. I'm like, what the hell does this do? And it got like a shit ton of likes and comments. And it was, there was people just like, why the fuck would you pay to promote this? And I was just getting ma- made fun of. I'm like, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Yeah. I actually did that for one of my YouTube videos just to test it out. But it's not like, it's not organic growth, which is just it's, like, yeah, not good. It doesn't help at all. Yeah. It just looks better on paper. Unless like you're actually like doing a brand deal and selling something, there's no if reason to. A, a reason to promote, the, if it's just like a vlog, it's, that's not going to do anything. Yeah, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of TikTok promote recently being talked about. Like, brands promoting stuff? No, 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 like TikTok, there's this thing called TikTok promote where you can, like, promote your TikTok videos, um, and it's just, like, such an easy process, but, like, I don't know, I don't know if people are using it, I'd assume so. I'm sure. Um, but dude, I think, what do you think will happen if TikTok does get banned? Do you think... A, a new platform will pop up that'll be short form content. Do you think YouTube Shorts is going to take over? Do you think Instagram Reels is going to take over? I don't know. What do you What do you think? I think if it does, a bunch of brands would start trying to come out with a product to fix it. But like, compare TikTok to Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. <sighs> TikTok is just superior by far. The algorithm is better. The whole interface is better. Everything about it, it just the apps feel smoother. TikTok yeah. just mastered it. So, I think a bunch of people are gonna try to replicate it, but no, nothing will really come close. Yeah. That. Well, the thing, the thing about Instagram, YouTube, uh, and TikTok as short form, short yeah, short form content platforms, is that um, they're. I feel like they have different audiences, and we've talked about this because TikTok, for instance has a really different demographic than YouTube. I feel like people, we, yeah, we could talk about this. YouTube, uh, I feel like the people that have watched our videos and commented are a little bit more serious, like meaningful. I don't know necessarily intellectual. <laughs> I don't think I have enough data to make that conclusion, but definitely more, um, more serious, whereas TikTok is more of like a platform where there's a lot of, uh, it's more like the internet, if you will. Um, yeah, like there's a lot true. happening, a lot of joking, yeah, um, stuff like that. And then Instagram Reels, I don't even, I don't even know about Instagram Reels. I don't even know if that's a real platform to be honest. I don't, I don't even Facebook. There's Facebook Reels. Oh yeah, there is Facebook Reels. Apparently, it's huge. That's for the older crowd though. Oh, yeah, it's for moms. Yeah, but I but like both my parents. Are your parents on TikTok? Um. So. My mom made a TikTok account just to watch the O3FM stuff, but neither of them are actually on TikTok. Okay, because my parents always hated it. And mm-hmm. then my dad downloaded it for something, and now I, he sends me 10 TikToks a day. And then my mom hated it even more, mm-hmm. and now she's on TikTok all the time. Damn. Bro, I feel like um, I actually saw uh, 
your dad's TikTok account follow, I think, O3FM. <laughs> so funny. Oh, the tree service one. Yeah, but that was actually one of the things in the um, in the court hearing that they talked about, like, the TikTok's addictive nature. Which, it's so true. It's, like, actually addictive. It is. It's designed to keep you on the platform for hours. That's insane. Which is weird, because you feel like with shorter form content, you would be on the app less time because it's mm. shorter form, but it's actually the exact opposite. Yeah, it, it really is. Um, really quick, I just wanted to say, shout out Mr. Blair. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Fire. Right now? Right now? Yeah, like 10 minutes ago. So, shout out. Shout out to the man. Shout out to the man. Um, I have... I'm just going to restart my camera. It turned off. Um, I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to talk about. I have one more topic that I wanted to touch on. If you want to close out. Um, yeah, so. I have one more, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. Um, oh, my God, wait. I'm dying. My, yo, low-key, my head's, like, pounding right now. What the hell? Like, I don't feel good. Get out of here. I don't feel good at all. But, this is pretty crazy. Sunny D Vodka Seltzer, bro. This is a real thing. I heard about that. Absolutely mad. I got an ad for it the other day, even though I'm not even 21. Bad demographic. Um, But I still feel like we need to talk about it. So, yeah, it's literally just, like, vodka and Sunny D and, like, some other shit. But, like, bro, these these companies are, like, it's, okay. I can't really put it into words right now, but it's really cool because the the people that were like 10, 11, 12 drinking Sunny D are now over 21, and now it's like... Exactly. They grew up with yeah. it so they can adapt to this. That's actually really smart. Dude, like... Because their whole audience that grew up drinking is now old enough to drink them. Yeah. Good. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's just like so cool. Like, I know my brother, for instance, like he always... He didn't love Sunny D, but he, he drank it from time to time. And now, you know, he's like 23. So that's like something that suits him so it's i don't know it's really cool that mm-hmm. you see these companies like growing up with their audience but i mean it's yeah. cool and it's very smart yeah yeah it is but yeah does that conclude i believe so. episode four four zero um four plus zero. you want to think of a word or a phrase tissue Tissue. Tissue. Oh my god, we're both yawning. <laughs> we gotta close out, guys. I wonder if anyone else saw that. Is it, I wonder if anyone who else saw that is gonna yawn, too. What? I wonder if anyone watching that is gonna yawn. Oh, too. yeah, because yawns are, like, contagious. That's why I just yawned, I think, because I contaged your yawn. Wait, I thought I yawned because you. It's like an infinite cycle, yawn, yawn, yawn. It's an infinite. We just keep going back and forth. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. Um, follow us on IG. We do a lot of behind the scenes there, and it's pretty fun. Uh, especially when we're gonna be going in September to play this live. Like that's gonna be fire. We're gonna be posting so much content. It's gonna be so sick. Um, so yeah, follow us there. We appreciate you watching. Comment tissue if you've gotten to this point. And yeah, I think that's it. Well, right, right. Is that it? You covered it all, so I think, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all.